I got this in America and we converted it to 240. <laughs> um, and look, it's a beast. I've had it since Running Wild, our first record. And I just can't tour without it now. I have to have it. I mean, it's temperamental. So it's with one of the old Transformers. So the in-ears or any wireless gear has issues. Like it, it just says, you know, due to everything. And then everything sort of doesn't work that isn't old school or analog. So it makes digital things break, which is great. One way was a, a, a pinch moment was playing with Jeff Beck, you know, when I supported him in Holland. That was amazing. And there was um, me, Jeff Beck, Joe Bonamassa, and Ringo Starr on the lineup. It was a pretty, pretty special gig. And I, I came back to my dressing room and they cornered all the, the dressing room off, and Ringo had security, and I sort of hid in the corner. And as he came back to his dressing room, I was there, and they were like, What are you doing here? I was like, You know, just getting my stuff out of the dressing room. I'm sorry, you know. I was like, I'd love to meet Ringo. So I got to meet Ringo Starr and that, that was a, a real experience itself. And on, on the way back, I was walking outside and my band were actually hanging out with Jeff Beck. And uh, as Ringo walks, Jeff just puts his hand out and he's like, high five. And he's just like, I've just been high five by a beetle. <laughs> and we were like starstruck with Jeff as it was. So that was pretty mad. To younger bands today, my first and foremost before I go into any sort of, hey, practice your instrument advice is uh, don't be an ass. <laughs> um, honestly, like I, we, we ran into um, uh, some old club owners and they're like, you know why I had you guys, you know, open for those people, you know, and I called you up and gave you the gig. And I'm, of course, I said, well, because we were good. And he's like, no, no, not at all. <laughs> you know, it's because you guys, I knew I could count on you to not trash the dressing room. Nobody was a diva. So first and foremost, be a nice person. It always pays off. Um, uh, second of all, literally plug in your instrument every day. Get good at what you do because when the door opens just ajar, those doors to like other opportunities, you have to be prepared. And third and probably the most important um, is do it for the right reasons. Do it because you love it and not because people are going to come see you, not because girls are going to like you. None of that matters. It just do it because you want to rock. I know for, uh, for a fact that's what I'll be using when, when I next do uh, rehearsals. That's if um, Joel actually gives me one for free, which he should do after this amazing interview. <laughs> Put that on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just going out live? Yeah. <laughs> Why does that have to be him that's interviewing me? <laughs> <laughs> Can't take it seriously anymore.